In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use a sheet of plywood or OSB to create uh, an extremely strong structural connection between the stair stringer and the floor. In this example, the or this particular method of construction, the landing sheathing will actually tie the framing members together. It will tie the stair stringer, the rim joist, and the landing joist or floor joist together simply by nailing the top of the sheathing. So exam for example, let's just say that you put uh, three nails um, in the stair stringer through the um, landing sheathing and then three nails into the floor joist or the landing joist. Um, it would almost act like a metal strap. That's how good the plywood works um, or the sheathing or the oriented strand board in this case um, actually works to tie things together. Now a lot of times you're going to see where an architect or an engineer will request some type of a framing, a metal framing connector, some building hardware, like a joist hanger, or in this case, an A35. And again, these are just going to provide you with additional support. Main reason why I made the video was to show you guys and gals to provide you with an example of how plywood um, or OSB floor sheathing, something solid can actually tie the stair stringers to the building structure, whether that's the floor or a landing. But this that provides us with horizontal um, strength, um, side to side. If you're looking for some type of vertical support or vertical reinforcement, then these A35s or joist hangers would definitely provide you with that. But I would like to point one thing out, and I see this a lot, a engineer will require um, some type of additional framing connectors like a joist hanger on to connect the stair stringer to the rim joist, in this case, the 2x10. But they won't require something on the other side. And it really doesn't make any sense. It's almost like they're not concerned about the connection between the floor joist or the landing joist and the rim joist that is connecting the stair stringer to the floor you know so it kind of doesn't make any sense and again I see this a lot in building you know they'll reinforce one part of the building and they'll put a bunch of additional building hardware in there but they won't reinforce another part which um, which provides you with a weak spot so put a little common sense into this if you're going to be building stairs you know if you're going to put a hanger on one side make sure there's a hanger on the other side or make sure there's some type of additional reinforcement where um, it where it won't provide you with something that will separate so just thought i'd throw that in there main reason why i made the video was just to show you how um, how much you can get some additional uh, horizontal reinforcement by using plywood. You would not get that same effect by using individual um, deck joists, I mean deck um, sheathing, so like two by sixes or manufactured, manufactured decking materials. You're not gonna get the same thing because each break will provide you with a weak spot in the construction.